What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. Oh, yeah, guys. So today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to continue on with our sifting operation back here. I want to get storage set up for this, and I want to get it prepared to be automated because it will be automated in the future at some point, and we're going to need an automated collection system for that. First things first, though, let's set up storage drawers. We'll have a drawer controller set up so we can just right click on it, double right click, and all the items in our inventory that we sifted will go into the drawers. We're probably going to want compacting drawers for each different type of material. Uh, we have a good majority of what we're going to be getting right here. But I think there's a few more items that we can get that we haven't received yet. Anyway, uh, what we really need to do is kind of go through and figure out how much items we need to store into drawers. How many drawers we're going to need. Uh, some items don't require compacting drawers, like Eulorium dust, for instance. You don't compact that down. Uh, I guess Skystone dust would be another one. Prosperity Shard might actually have a block. It does. Okay, so yeah, pretty much everything that has a block, we are going to want to put into a compacting drawer so we can store more of it and get the ability to have either the block form or the dust or whatever form. So yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at doing for sure. Um, I'm trying to remember <laughs> to continue pour out uh, the iron here so I can get that because we're gonna need a lot of iron I do expect right for these compacting drawers. So three iron per Yeah, and some redstone and other stuff. Okay Well, I tell you what I'm gonna go through and start making a bunch of compacting drawers I'm gonna lay them out on the wall here We'll see how much space that takes up and if we need more space So anyway, let me get to that and then we'll be right back all right, guys, so I ended up making a bunch of these compacting drawers, expecting us to be able to put in the iron pieces, for instance, into the drawer and it'd convert into the iron ore chunk, these things, and then we'd be able to convert back so they go into the compacting drawer just fine, but no, it's it does not work on the compacting drawer at all. So we have to put these pieces into regular drawers, or we could uh, set up some kind of an auto crafter or whatever that grabs those and puts them into the chunk form and then puts them into the drawers, but... Yeah, compacting drawers don't really work for these guys, unfortunately. So I have a few extra compacting drawers that I ended up making, but it's not a big deal. Uh, so we were able to use, you know, a decent amount of the ones that I made for the different resources that we had collected here. So yeah, we can put coal and charcoal in there and nether quartz and things like that. Not necessarily all of these items we're getting from sifting. I don't think the quartz came from sifting. That's from the nether and the same thing with the charcoal. But, you know, they were in the chest here, so we threw them in uh, to our compacting drawers, but for everywhere else, I think we have a place for everything. We might, there might be a couple more items that we haven't gotten from sifting yet, but for the most part, all of the different items are now in their own home, which is good. Um, I was looking at the smeltery, right? We saw like I had to pour this out and it takes forever to fill up and then takes forever to harden and then it goes into the hopper here. I was kind of looking at different methods for us to pour out. I was... I was not even sure if Ender I.O. was in here, but then I remember that we had gone the grains of infinity or whatever. Uh, but anyway, um, there are fluid conduits that we can use that are pretty good. The Ender Fluid Conduit is the best one, but we don't have the machines set up to make these different alloys. But then I was like, hmm, I wonder, does this mod pack have translocators? It does. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're going to do. These are not expensive at all. We have plenty of Ender Pearls. So the um, translocators are pretty much my favorite method of extracting fluid from a smeltery to cast it out. It's just like super, super fast. Uh, so we're going to get two ender pearls here. What else do we need? Two pistons. All right, so that should be pretty simple to do. We should have everything for that. Just not in my inventory, but we should have everything for it regardless. Grab some of that and that. All right, so we need some redstone. We need some iron. Uh, oh yeah, all the redstone's over here now. So two redstone, we need some iron. All right, I think we should have everything to make ourselves some pistons. Uh, let's do this, that, these. All right, so there's two pistons and then we are gonna need eight more redstone and a couple of pieces of lapis. All right, so we can do that, no problem. You know what? We have the crafting grid in my inventory. I never am used to having that, so I'm always gonna forget about it. How much do we got? Nine. Yeah, that should be enough. Uh, what else do we need? Two lapis. 
So let's use our crafting grid that's right here. <laughs> now that I remembered it. All right, so now that we have two liquid translocators, we're gonna want two more redstone. We're gonna want two pieces of glowstone. And then we are gonna need two levers. All right, so we'll do that and that. Very good. All right, so our levers we're gonna set right here. We'll get, I fell down the hole. <laughs> we'll get rid of this guy. We'll get rid of this guy. All right, so the liquid translocator should go like this and that, this one and that one. All right, so what we wanna do is set this up so by default, that one is in, hmm, is that what we wanna do? No, you know what, let's just leave it. So that one's out, this one's out. We'll put redstone on this guy. We'll put redstone on this guy. So when I flip this lever, this should be controlled by redstone and this button will press in or pop out depending on the redstone signal. So when it's off, it's out. But if you press it in manually, then it'll be in when the redstone is off. That makes sense. Anyway, uh, so the glowstone we want to place on the sending one that I'll send like buckets at a time. So now when I flip the lever, that instantly fills. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's just going to make this process so much better. So it's instantly filling. When, as soon as this hardens, the hopper pulls out the remaining bit and then, yeah, it just gets automatically filled again. So this is going to help us out a lot. Now, I won't be able to leave this because we have the uh, aluminum brass in there we're going to have to deal with. But as you can see there, as soon as it hardened up, like it immediately refilled and is automatically uh, hardening once again. This is super good. The translocators are one of my favorite item transportation mods. Although they can only move items from like one block distance to away, right? You can't do anything long distance with them, but that's perfectly fine. Like for smeltery work or just moving fluids from one block to another, you can't really beat these. Yeah, they're so good. I like them. Um, all right, so now that we got that going, we should take a look at something else to do. Uh, storage, yeah, we got a good portion of this stuff done. Um, it might be worthwhile setting up like automatic collection for our drawers here. Eventually we'll have this thing automated. So as we're sifting stuff or like we can just put in dust and it'll just automatically sift it. And we're going to have to deal with where those items are going to go. Uh, so here you can see that we have a partial cauldron full of, uh, the aluminum brass, right? If we turn that off, nothing happens, but we can just... Press this button. Yeah, and now it's all back in the smeltery. Yep. It is really good, these items. You don't really have to configure anything. You just press a button and you're good to go. Uh, we need to cast those out so I can get that out of the smeltery. I think I will just do that right now. Um, yeah, we'll just do the ingots here. Cool. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do, let's take a look. So we can figure out our next game plan here. Applied energistics is something I'd like to do, but before we can do that, we have to get power, right? So it's not something we can do right now. Uh, not really much with that. I don't think we're going to be doing refined storage other than just completing those quests eventually. Uh, Inferium Essence. I did complete this quest after killing a mob, and I think that's because we had the Prosperity, which unlocked this, and then I had Inferium in my inventory. Let's go ahead and claim that reward. Okay, that's fine. Uh, power generation might be something worth looking at right now. Reactor, solar arrays, I don't think we're quite there yet. I, we'll probably have to start off on some of this earlier power stuff. Hmm. Okay, well, first things first. I keep getting distracted on doing different things. <laughs> Let's take a look at making an absorption hopper. Is that how you spell it? Absorb. If I spell it right. Is it with a B or a P? I'm not sure. I think it's with a P. So absorption hopper from mob grinding utils. This mod is really good and we'll probably be looking at using that for automating our mob farm, I think. Uh, anyway, so this can pick up items in a seven by seven by seven area. So we can kind of hide it somewhere or we can stick it in the ceiling either way. Uh, it's going to pick up items in a fairly large area. You can't expand it out with the radius modifier. Yeah. So let's see. To make this, we need the Eye of Ender. I think we had blaze powder. So we have blaze powder there. 
Uh, let's go grab ourselves a Ender Pearl, and we'll pop this chest. Compact Giant Chance Cubes. Wow, it gives you seven of them? Okay, well, we're not using those. <laughs> Uh, not until we go to another dimension, maybe a mining dimension or something like that. Yeah, I don't want my base destroyed. Even though we don't have, like, a lot of stuff, I don't want my base destroyed. Um, anyway, so I have Ender. We need a Hopper. Hopper is easy enough for us to make. Do I have Iron? I do. Okay, so we should be able to make all of this stuff, and then we have to get ourselves three Obsidian. We'll just do that real quick. There's one, two... And three. Okay. So we have the obsidian. We can do this and this. There's that. We go into here, make ourselves a chest. Very good. The chest plus some iron makes the hopper. Uh huh. And to make the absorption hopper, we do that. All right. So there is our absorption hopper. Very good. All right. So now that we have that, we need, mm, can be configured to push out any side. All right. Very good. Very good. Um, we are going to need a way to transfer the items from the absorption hopper into our drawers. So, do we do it up here? We might just do it directly above this thing. Yeah, I think we can just stick it right here. That should be okay for the most part. So, if we throw an item on the ground, it immediately gets collected and it is right here. All right, so that's cool. Uh, so this needs to go into some kind of an item. I think what we'll end up doing... Uh, Oh, I can't dig around this thing. It takes up a full block, even though it doesn't look like it. We'll probably put, like, a controller sleeve right there. Or a drawer sleeve. My mistake. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and then we can use, like, some trim to, like, extend the multi-block over. Uh, what does it cost for making oak trim? So this is just planks and sticks, super easy. We can just do it right here. Let's just do it right here then. So that, this, I'm not sure. 16 is gonna be more than enough, but we might get use out of these for some other project later on. So we can just kind of work our way over. All right, so then on top of here, we need to get ourselves a, um, a slave, a controller slave. So to do that, we need two nether quartz. Uh, six redstone. I got seven. That's fine. Uh, let's see some stone redstone torches so we can do the torches real quick. And that was regular stone. Okay. So we need to get ourselves, uh, 11 stone, I think, right? Six for the comparators and then five for the other thing. So let's grab these real quick. All right. So we can do that. This, this, and those two redstone comparators. Oh, we do need to get ourselves a drawer and then a gold ingot. Okay, so that's easy enough. Uh, so eight of those plus an additional six more. Very good. So there's a chest. There's a drawer. Um, and then we need the gold ingot. All right, so let's go grab that. And then we should be able to complete this guy and then have stuff automatically being collected and inserted into our drawers, which should be should be pretty good here. Uh, so let's click that button, this button, and one of those. There's a slave. Now, I do think I got to get rid of this. I don't think I can place the controller slave between the absorption hopper and this trim, unfortunately. All right, so we'll place that there. We will grab these items back out and put that right like that. Okay, so now we'll just cover this back up with stone, and we won't really be able to see any of that, which is good. So the absorption hopper, we need to set up to item and it said that it automatically pushed right oh this looks like it has an offset that's kind of cool all right so pretty much everything in the room will get collected into that that's that's not bad all right i like this uh change here um let's try putting something in there and see if it gets pushed into the system well yeah that let's see we have plus seven now it says we have redstone plus six, and if I put this in there, it says plus seven again. So if I take out, oh, I got to put, hmm, I wonder how fast it moves items. Does it do stacks at a time? No. Okay. So it does it kind of slow, not super fast. I wonder if it would be faster if I had another sleeve on here, if it could push to two different sides at the same time, or if it only goes at that same speed. 
Hmm. Another thing we could do eventually later on is pipe out of this thing directly. And in fact, we might be able to just use those translocators like we used over here. Uh, you can use the item variant of them to extract out of things. I don't know if it would work on the absorption hopper. Sometimes I've seen with the translocators that they don't like <laughs> being attached to some blocks. So let's do translocators again. Item translocator. All right, so it's pretty much the same recipe. It's just the difference between lapis and gold, huh? All right, well, let me make those up real quick. We'll just do one set of item translocators. All right, so I went ahead and moved the controller sleeve over one, and we can just go ahead and set that off. So we want to change it so the, let's see, this is to the south? No, to the north. We want to the north to be items. I think you have to set it so it has the extraction on that side uh, in order to extract out of it. I'm not entirely sure. That might not be true, though. Uh, anyway, so item translocators, we can just place one here. Place one there. I think that should work. You know what? Let's, let's just try turning this off. Let's just see if it'll work like this. Um, all right, so we have that set. We need one redstone, one glowstone. Actually, we just need glowstone, not redstone. All right, so we can extract out of their stacks at a time, and like so. And in fact, I might move this up so we can kind of hide it a little bit better. Otherwise, we'll be seeing it like this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll get to that here in a minute. I want to see if this is going to work correctly. So let's grab something. Yeah, we got a bunch of skystone dust here. Let's just put one in there. Okay, so if I put skystone dust in here, it's gone. And it's here. Okay, so yes, that does work quite well, actually. So like I said, I want to put that up so we're not looking at it directly. Let's go ahead and chop some of these blocks off. We'll get rid of this and this one. Okay, so all those items should be right here. Very good. We'll just go do the same thing except from the top this time. So it can be a little bit more hidden. All right, so we can do one here and then one on top. Like so. It's a little hard to place that because... Even though it doesn't look like it takes up a full block, this absorption hopper does. <laughs> it's kind of weird when you try and place things. So anyway, that should be all we need to do. All right, so that makes it a little bit more hidden. We can button this up that much easier. Get rid of this. Yeah, and I kind of want this exposed as well. Um, in case something else gets picked up, like I accidentally queue something in there, I want access to like these items. So yeah, I think that'll be just fine. All right. And then you can just place some blocks, not too many obviously, place some blocks right like that and we should be good. Now this does have an offset and I was playing with this just a second ago. So if we show the area and we can see there's that green box so you can kind of move this, right? So like, even though it's right here, it can pick up a seven by seven over that side, which is kind of nice because what that means you can hide this in a wall or whatever offset it that many blocks and still pick things up so we could theoretically move this up another block and completely have this hidden if we wanted to but then again if it picks up something that we want or we don't want being picked up it'll be kind of a pain to get to right so there's some definite utility for this maybe uh putting it into a mob farm and putting it into like a better location so it can pick up more items. I think that, yeah, that's going to work out quite well for us when we get to that point. But for right now, I think we got a lot of good stuff going on here. Um, yeah, so we will need to get a way to get a bunch of dust and a bunch of sand and a bunch of gravel and start sifting it. And then we can start filling out our resources over here. We are starting to run low on redstone. So that is something that I would like to look at here pretty soon. Probably just do a bunch of dust by hand and start sifting it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to take a quick break and start uh, <laughs> sifting out some dust and we'll be right back guys. All right guys. So I went ahead and I made about nine stacks of dust and I sifted it. Yeah. And we ended up with something like 50 more redstone. So it looks like we got 10 blocks plus two. So we're doing pretty okay on the redstone situation right now. Um, sifting dust also gives us bone meal, which I forgot about. So I added a compacting drawer for bone meal and it also gives us gunpowder. So we are getting gunpowder at our sifting operation and we're getting gunpowder at the mob farm operation. 
So eventually we're going to want to pull both of those together. But yeah, we have it in two different locations now. Uh, I did remove one of the chests here and I tried to take all of the ore that we had and process it through the smelter. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of stuff here uh, off camera between the last clip and now. So pretty much all of our resources are now here. We have a lot of iron. <laughs> That's pretty good. A stack and a half of blocks worth. Yeah, uh, decent amount of iron and then all the other material that we have I've smelted down just so we can have access to it. And we don't have to wait on that to be smelted later. We still have more things like gold that we got from sifting all of that dust, which right now we don't really need, but we will have to process it eventually. We got a decent amount of nickel here too, it looks like. Uh, lots of blaze powder, and I think that might be all that we got. Um, so here's the thing. Charged Certus Quartz, these guys, they can get picked up, but yeah, they can get picked up by Absorption Hopper. Uh, these guys, for whatever reason, when I'm sifting though, they don't kind of go into your inventory. They seem to shoot out everywhere. So even though like the absorption hopper thing that we have right now for manually sifting isn't super useful, yeah, it does help by picking these things up, which just end up on the ground. And if you're not paying attention, could potentially despawn. So I think having this absorption hopper here either way is a uh, good added benefit for this. Um, so what I kind of wanted to do now was look at upgrading our mob farm. Yeah, so we still need to get 64 rotten flesh, and we are not quite there yet. Um, we saw earlier that we have the mob grinding, grinding utils. Um, so yeah, I want to make the mob masher. I want to add in some of the looting upgrades so we get more drops from the mobs, right? And then we're going to need a way to push them into the mod masher. So we also have vector plates in this mod pack. Vector plate? Plate. No S. So we have vector plates in this mod pack, which requires some stone, iron, which we have plenty of, slime we have plenty of, and sugar, which we don't have any of, I don't think, unless we killed a witch that might have dropped one. But we're going to need more than just one piece of sugar. Uh, so yeah, we need to look at getting ourselves a little bit of sugar cane. So to get sugar cane in this mod pack, it looks like we will have to sift dirt. So we're going to have to do a little bit more sifting here. I've already done quite a lot of it. <laughs> and trying to get these resources is getting a little tedious. I can't wait until we get to the point where we can automate most of this process. But for right now, it's still kind of like a manual thing. So it is what it is. Uh, anyway, we need to take dirt and we need to sift that and if we take a look at the uses on the sieve Let's go over here real quick. So sieve. Yes, we can get pumpkin seeds melon seeds We've gotten both of those from loot bags. We can get wheat seeds sugar cane carrot potato and grass seeds I don't think we have any form of grass yet So this will allow us to set up an area and potentially get uh, Normal animals to spawn which could be quite useful as well so it's a 4% chance on sugarcane seeds on the string mesh. Uh, looks like if we do it on the flint mesh, we get mineral saplings, beetroot, some other things, coffee. Of course, we're going to want coffee. Uh, it looks like if we do it on a diamond stiffen mesh, however, we get ore berries, right? And then if we do it on... What the heck? <laughs> that said four out of three, and then there was nothing on that tab. That was weird. So it looks like we are going to either want to do it on the flint, stiffened mesh, or we're going to want to do it on the string. So on the flint stiffened, we have 8%. On the string, we have a 4%. So the flint stiffened is obviously the one that we want to do it on. Uh, I don't remember how many flint stiffened meshes we had remaining. I don't think we have a lot. We have one. So we could upgrade the string ones, I think. Can we? No, we just have to craft them directly. Okay, so we have exactly one flint stiffened mesh. Oh, boy. Uh, it might just be faster to do it with three of the string ones. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And those all get clicked up here, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, even though it's a 4% chance with this, we can do three times the amount. So I think it's just going to be faster overall to try and get the sugar cane. So... I'm just going to sit here and sift this for a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get that sugar cane quite quickly. What did we get already? Potato, seeds, melon, carrot, and grass. Okay, well, we got the grass seed. That's quite nice. Still looking for that sugar cane. I'm sure... Well, there it is. I was going to say, I'm sure with the amount of dirt that we have, we'll get it no problem at all. Um, oh, 
let's stop sifting more of that. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we got two sugar cane, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to want to grow that and start up like some kind of a sugar cane farm so we can get more sugar. I think the rest of this stuff I'll put in here. As far as these seeds and stuff, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I guess we'll just throw those all into here for now. I'll have to replace... Oops, I want the sugar cane. I'll have to replace these diamond stiffen mesh here in a little bit. Um, so we definitely need to get ourselves sand. At least two to grow these two uh, things, but we're going to need more than that. I think we might end up taking one of these tunnels and making like a little sugar cane farm out of it. As I, uh, as I um, plant them and as they grow, I will put more in. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Do we have the hammer still? Where is it? Uh, this one. Let's use our hammer here. We're just going to clear out a big thing. I'm going to make infinite source of water straight down the center and line both sides with sand. We'll have to figure out how we're going to light this. Otherwise, we're going to get monsters spawned down here, which I don't want. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we're just going to turn this into a sugar cane farm, I think. All right, guys, I was just going to plant the sugar cane onto dirt, but then I was like, oh, I wonder, does this mod pack have snad in it? And it absolutely does. So snad is supposed to make things like sugar cane grow that much faster. Uh, so two pieces of sand turn into one snad. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like that is EMC a bowl, so that'll be nice for later if we want to set up like a huge farm. Um, so I just filled up this tunnel full of dirt and I vein mined it with this much. And we ended up getting a skeleton skull and a bone from the dirt when I vein mined it. I don't know why that happens. That's kind of weird. But anyway, that is a thing that does happen apparently. So let's make half a stack of snad. Yeah, I filled up this entire tunnel full of water, so I didn't have anything spawning here. But yeah, I think we're just going to line both sides like this and put the sugar cane on it. Uh, as far as lighting this up, hmm, I don't know. We might just put some blocks up here with some torches on it. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do just yet. But anyway, we can put the sugar cane right here. And you can see how much faster it grows on snad compared to normal sand. It's crazy, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> it will grow faster. It's not like, whoa, super instant growth speed. No, it's not that fast, but it does grow fast, right? Faster anyway. I think it gets like a random bone meal or maybe just a random growth tick every now and then as opposed to sand, which doesn't do that. Um, so anyway... I am just going to finish up placing the rest of this stuff here. We have exactly enough. Perfect. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave the one side torched up for light, and then I will fix, it, figure it out, fix it up a little bit later. This won't be permanently a sugarcane farm, but for right now, since it's open space and we need space for sugarcane, that's what we're going to do. So we got to wait for this to grow, um, which is probably going to take a little bit of time, I expect. Yeah, uh, even though that is snad, it's still got to grow one and then two, and then we can chop down and plant those, and then we got to let all that grow, and then we can plant more of it. It'll get faster and faster, but it is still going to take time initially. So maybe it'd be worthwhile uh, sifting all the rest of our dirt that we had. Or did I? Oh, maybe I turned all the dirt into sand. I was going to say maybe it'd be worthwhile sifting the rest of that dirt and getting more sugar cane, but yeah, I guess we can't do that just yet. Well, tell you guys what, I think we're going to leave it here. Next episode, we should look at opening, or I guess improving our mob farm, making it automated. Uh, we're probably going to expand this out, I think. We might leave the same design, but widen this back wall and just expand this thing out and make it a lot, the amount of spawn space a lot bigger, and then force the mobs to one certain area where the mob grinder can get at them. I think that's going to make a lot of sense. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. Yeah, once again, we got a decent amount of stuff done. We started our, our basic sugarcane farm. Nothing too special there. Using snad, which should make it grow faster. We got ourselves an automatic resource collector here for our sieves. Yeah, the absorption hopper. We got our compacting drawers set up, which unfortunately doesn't work with all the different ores. But it's still, yeah, it's going to be definitely helpful for us. And we got our, our smeltery semi-automated. Just got to put the blocks in this chest right here. I don't think I talked about that. I put a chest here with item translocators that extracts out and puts it right into the smeltery controller. So you put in the, the items there and you get the blocks out in this other chest. Yeah, so 
kind of nice. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.